Today on Good Friday, let's hear these readings from the Gospel of Mark. The soldiers led Jesus away into the courtyard of the palace, known as the governor's headquarters, and they called together the whole company of soldiers. They dressed him up in a purple robe and twisted together a crown of thorns and put it on him. They saluted him, Hey, King of the Jews! Again and again, they struck his head with a stick. They spit on him and knelt before him to honor him. When they finished mocking him, they stripped him of the purple robe and put his own clothes back on him. Then they led him out to crucify him. They brought Jesus to the place called Golgotha, which means skull place. They tried to give him wine mixed with myrrh, but he didn't take it. They crucified him. They divided up his clothes, drawing lots for them to determine who would take what. It was nine in the morning when they crucified him. The notice of the formal charge against him was written, the King of the Jews. They crucified two outlaws with him, one on his right and one on his left. People walking by insulted him, shaking their heads and saying, ha! So you were going to destroy the temple and rebuild it in three days, were you? Save yourself then and come down from that cross. From noon until three in the afternoon, the whole earth was dark. At three, Jesus cried out with a loud shout, Eloi, Eloi, lama shabbathani, which means, my God, my God, why have you left me? After hearing him, some standing there said, Look, he is calling Elijah. Someone ran, filled a sponge with sour wine, and put it on a pole. He offered it to Jesus to drink, saying, Let's see if Elijah will come to take him down. But Jesus let out a loud cry and died. The curtain of the sanctuary was torn in two from top to bottom. When the centurion, who stood facing Jesus, saw how he died, he said, This man was certainly God's son. 